results in a dramatic turn of events. China has once again defied the global order, unveiling a groundbreaking material that can extract uranium from seawater, a feat that could potentially shift the balance of power in the global energy market. This move comes at a time when the U.S. has imposed a slew of sanctions aimed at stifling China's technological advancements, ostensibly to protect its own economic interests. Critics argue that these sanctions are nothing more than a desperate attempt by the U.S. to maintain its waning influence as China continues to outpace it in key areas of innovation. The hypocrisy is palpable. While the U.S. touts itself as a champion of free trade and technological progress, it simultaneously seeks to cripple any competition that threatens its hegemony. China's latest achievement is not just a scientific breakthrough. It's a geopolitical statement that challenges the status quo and exposes the double standards in the current international system. This is not just about uranium. It's about the future of global power dynamics. Stay with us till the end as we delve into the implications of this controversial development and what it means for the world. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Chinese scientists have made a significant leap in the field of nuclear energy by developing a novel organic material capable of extracting uranium from seawater. This breakthrough material is both cost-effective and demonstrates exceptional uranium absorption capabilities. Uranium, a critical and non-renewable resource, has been a cornerstone of nuclear energy, traditionally mined from terrestrial sources. However, with the increasing need for sustainable and innovative energy solutions, the focus has shifted towards harnessing uranium from seawater, an endeavor that has long posed significant technical challenges. The research team from the Kingdao Institute of Bioenergy and Bioprocess Technology, Kibet, selected sodium, Alginate SAI, a naturally derived and affordable biopolymer, along with functional DNA strands to create say DNA hydrogel microspheres. These microspheres exhibit a remarkable ability to selectively absorb uranium ions, H20T from seawater, showcasing a promising alternative to traditional mining methods. The innovative combination of sodium alginate and DNA enzymes offers a sustainable, environmentally friendly, and economically viable method for uranium extraction. The SAE DNA hydromicrospheres have demonstrated a significantly higher selectivity for uranium compared to previously reported advanced adsorbents that utilize amidoxum groups in simulated seawater. The uranium to vanadium ratio achieved was an impressive 43.6, while in natural seawater, the ratio was 8.62. This high selectivity is crucial for practical applications, as the concentration of uranium in seawater is extremely low roughly 3.3 milligrams per ton of seawater, the challenge is further compounded by the presence of various other ions in the marine environment, making the extraction process akin to finding a needle in a haystack. The researchers conducted adsorption experiments using natural seawater without any augmentation, further validating the effectiveness of their material in real-world conditions. The Sadiana hydrogel microspheres not only demonstrated a high adsorption capacity for uranium, but also maintained their performance over prolonged periods of immersion in natural seawater. This durability and efficiency make the material a promising candidate for large-scale applications in uranium extraction. This breakthrough is not just a testament to China's growing prowess in scientific research and technological innovation, but also a potential game-changer for the global energy landscape. The ability to efficiently extract uranium from seawater could provide a virtually limitless supply of this critical resource, essential for nuclear reactors, with nuclear energy being a key component of efforts to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change. Now, such advancements are of paramount importance. China's achievement in this area has not only garnered attention, but also sparked discussions about the broader implications for international relations and global technology transfer. The development of this material comes at a time of heightened geopolitical tensions, particularly with the U.S., which has imposed various sanctions on China, targeting key sectors such as technology and manufacturing. Chinese officials have criticized these sanctions, arguing that they hinder scientific progress and international cooperation, which are vital for addressing global challenges like energy security and environmental sustainability. The Chinese government has emphasized the importance of open scientific exchange and has called for the lifting of what they describe as unjust and counterproductive sanctions. 
In a recent statement, a spokesperson from China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs remarked on the paradoxical nature of the U.S. stance, noting that while the U.S. promotes innovation and competition, it simultaneously imposes restrictions that stifle the flow of knowledge and technology. This, they argue, undermines the principles of fair play and mutual benefit that should underpin international relations. The U.S. sanctions have been a point of contention, with critics arguing that they are a form of economic coercion aimed at limiting China's rise as a global technological power. These measures have impacted various Chinese industries, including technology giants like Huawei, and have raised concerns about the future of global supply chains and technology partnerships. The sanctions have also prompted China to accelerate its efforts to achieve technological self-reliance, a strategy that includes significant investments in research and development. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots. So your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. The debate over the U.S. Sanctions on China is part of a broader conversation about the role of technology in international relations. As countries compete for technological supremacy, the need for clear rules and norms governing the use and transfer of technology becomes increasingly important. The development of the Saudi and hydrogel microspheres is a case in point, illustrating the potential for new technologies to disrupt existing power structures and create new opportunities for collaboration and competition. The future of energy is one of the most pressing issues facing the global community today. As countries seek to transition to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, the development of new technologies will be critical in meeting this challenge. The Sadian Hydrogal microspheres represent a significant step forward in the quest for sustainable energy, offering a new approach to uranium extraction that is both efficient and environmentally friendly. The story of China's new material for uranium extraction is just beginning, and its full impact has yet to be realized. As the technology matures and becomes more widely adopted, it is likely to have far-reaching implications for the global energy landscape. The ability to extract uranium from seawater could provide a new source of fuel for nuclear reactors, helping to meet the growing demand for clean energy. It could also reduce the environmental impact of traditional uranium mining, making nuclear energy a more attractive option for countries seeking to reduce their carbon footprint. The development of the Sadian Hydrogel microspheres is a testament to the power of innovation and the potential for scientific research to address some of the most pressing challenges of our time. It is also a reminder of the importance of international cooperation in advancing the frontiers of knowledge and technology. As countries continue to navigate the complex landscape of global energy policy, the story of China's new material for uranium extraction will be an important case study in the power of innovation to drive change and shape the future. The role of technology in shaping the future of energy policy cannot be overstated. As countries seek to transition to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, the development of new technologies will be critical in meeting this challenge. The Saudi and hydrogel microspheres represent a promising advancement in this area, offering a new approach to uranium extraction that is both efficient and environmentally friendly. The implications of this technology extend beyond the realm of energy. The ability to selectively absorb specific ions from seawater using DNA-based materials could have applications in other areas, such as environmental remediation and the recovery of valuable metals, the versatility of these materials opens up new possibilities for innovation and collaboration, highlighting the importance of continued investment in research and development. As the world moves towards a more sustainable and interconnected future, the development of new technologies will be crucial in addressing the complex challenges we face. The story of China's Estee Diana Hydrogyla Microspheres is a reminder of the potential for scientific breakthroughs to change the course of history. It also underscores the importance of international cooperation and dialogue in ensuring that the benefits of these advancements are shared by all. The debate over the U.S. Sanctions on China is part of a broader conversation about the role of technology in international relations as countries compete for technological supremacy. The need for clear rules and norms governing the use and transfer of technology becomes increasingly important. The development of the SADA and hydrogel microspheres is a case in point illustrating the potential for new technologies to disrupt existing power structures and create new opportunities for collaboration and competition. If you are enjoying this video so far, 
please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. The future of energy is one of the most pressing issues facing the global community today. As countries seek to transition to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, the development of new technologies will be critical in meeting this challenge. The say dna hydrogel microspheres represent a significant step forward in the quest for sustainable energy, offering a new approach to uranium extraction that is both efficient and environmentally friendly. The story of China's new material for uranium extraction is just beginning, and its full impact has yet to be realized. As the technology matures and becomes more widely adopted, it is likely to have far-reaching implications for the global energy landscape. The ability to extract uranium from seawater could provide a new source of fuel for nuclear reactors, helping to meet the growing demand for clean energy. It could also reduce the environmental impact of traditional uranium mining, making nuclear energy a more attractive option for countries seeking to reduce their carbon footprint. The development of the Saudi and Nigel microspheres is a testament to the power of innovation and the potential for scientific research to address some of the most pressing challenges of our time. It is also a reminder of the importance of international cooperation in advancing the frontiers of knowledge and technology as countries continue to navigate the complex landscape of global energy policy. The story of China's new material for uranium extraction will be an important case study in the power of innovation to drive change and shape the future. The implications of this technology extend beyond the realm of energy. The ability to selectively absorb specific ions from seawater using DNA-based materials could have applications in other areas, such as environmental remediation and the recovery of valuable metals. The versatility of these materials opens up new possibilities for innovation and collaboration, highlighting the importance of continued investment in research and development as the world moves towards a more sustainable and interconnected future. The development of new technologies will be crucial in addressing the complex challenges we face. The story of China's Sadi and Hydrago microspheres is a reminder of the potential for scientific breakthroughs to change the course of history. It also underscores the importance of international cooperation and dialogue in ensuring that the benefits of these advancements are shared by all. The debate over the U.S. sanctions on China is part of a broader conversation about the role of technology in international relations. As countries compete for technological supremacy, the need for clear rules and norms governing the use and transfer of technology becomes increasingly important. The development of the CDA hydro microspheres is a case in point, illustrating the potential for new technologies to disrupt existing power structures and create new opportunities for collaboration and competition. The future of energy is one of the most pressing issues facing the global community today. As countries seek to transition to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, the development of new technologies will be critical in meeting this challenge. The Saidi and Hydrogel microspheres represent a significant step forward in the quest for sustainable energy, offering a new approach to uranium extraction that is both efficient and environmentally friendly. The story of China's new material for uranium extraction is just beginning, and its full impact has yet to be realized. As the technology matures and becomes more widely adopted, it is likely to have far-reaching implications for the global energy landscape. The ability to extract uranium from seawater could provide a new source of fuel for nuclear reactors, helping to meet the growing demand for clean energy. It could also reduce the environmental impact of traditional uranium mining, making nuclear energy a more attractive option for countries seeking to reduce their carbon footprint. The development of the Saidi and Hydrago microspheres is a testament to the power of innovation and the potential for scientific research to address some of the most pressing challenges of our time. It is also a reminder of the importance of international cooperation in advancing the frontiers of knowledge and technology as countries continue to navigate the complex landscape of global energy policy. The story of China's new material for uranium extraction will be an important case study in the power of innovation to drive change and shape the future. The implications of this technology extend beyond the realm of energy. The ability to selectively absorb specific ions from seawater using DNA-based materials could have applications in other areas, such as environmental remediation and the recovery of valuable metals. The versatility of these materials opens up new possibilities for innovation and collaboration, highlighting the importance of continued investment in research and development as the world moves towards a more sustainable and interconnected future. The development of new technologies will be crucial 
in addressing the complex challenges we face. The story of China's Sadia, hydrogel microspheres, is a reminder of the potential for scientific breakthroughs to change the course of history. It also underscores the importance of international cooperation and dialogue in ensuring that the benefits of these advancements are shared by all. The debate over the U.S. sanctions on China is part of a broader conversation about the role of technology in international relations. As countries compete for technological supremacy, the need for clear rules and norms governing the use and transfer of technology becomes increasingly important. The development of the Saudi and hydrogel microspheres is a case in point illustrating the potential for new technologies to disrupt existing power structures and create new opportunities for collaboration and competition. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video, and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.